Hi everyone and welcome back. This is going to be my quick review of Power Rangers Dino Fury. We just got the remaining episodes from season two. They dropped a few days ago and basically we are finished with the 29th season of Power Rangers or the second season of Power Rangers Dino Fury. There was 11 new episodes, and I'll try to sum it up very quickly. So what happened is we actually found out that the Green Morphing Master was responsible for a lot of things that happened in Power Rangers history throughout the past. And um, here in Dino Fury, what happens is uh, she gives the Power Rangers a Chroma Fury Saber, which is slightly different color. And it has a finishing move that can destroy any monster. However, it destroys the person that uses it as well. Now, they did use this uh, saber uh, quite a lot during battles, but not using the finisher. I'll get back to that a little bit later. Lord Zed comes back. He has his Z staff. He's very powerful. Uh, he actually um, teams up with Scrozzle, who escapes... Uh, grid Battle Force, and we do see that the Grid Battle Force or the Beast Morphers Power Rangers are still active and defending uh, their city because the, the general calls the Dino Fury Rangers and tells them that there's a great danger coming. They eventually go to Rafcon. Rafcon is still alive, I should say. There's n nobody living there anymore. But Lord Zed goes there as well. He wants to find the uh, Sporix machine that can create new Sporix. And uh, once that happens, the Power Rangers try to stop him. However, Rafcon actually gets destroyed for real this time. Uh, somewhat later, there are Rafconians that come to Earth. And they want to actually take Earth over because they think humans are not being good to the planet. Zaito kind of uh, talks to them and gets them to realize that humans are good and uh, they join forces. So the big secret that was revealed towards uh, the end of the season, Amelia turns out to be the daughter of Void King and Void Queen, also known as Tarek and um, what was his wife's name? She was called... Something with an S. Santora, I think. So anyway, Tarek and Santora had a baby. And uh, they are actually the Rafconians. So this is also another big secret. A lot of us in the fandom actually suspected that Amelia might be the daughter of them. But we didn't know that they were from Rafcon. And apparently they came to Earth. They wanted to replus supply their ship or something like that. And then uh, the Earthlings just captured them uh, because they're aliens and they wanted to do experimenting on them or something like that. And that's where uh, they were trapped at Area 62. There was a big explosion and everybody thought that uh, the site was uh, not safe to be at because of the nuclear fallout or something like that. But there was none of that. And um, we actually see that uh, Tarek survived. And he found the Dino Knight Morpher, which turned him into Void, uh, Void Knight. And um, then we basically get to the part where it shows that he started looking for the uh, great power of the Sporix Beast or something like that. Um, and he eventually turned good when Amelia sort of um, touched him. And being Rafconian, she can sort of like read minds or connect with people. Um, and then they needed to do the same thing with uh, Santora, or Void Queen. She, however, used the power of all of the Sporix and put herself in like a cocoon. And then uh, Tarek actually kind of used the Dino Knight Morpher again to turn into a Void Knight and transport her into the desert outside of the city. Uh, however, I guess the cocoon hatched and she turned into a really big monster. However, she, was, she wasn't the monster herself. It was almost like a Zord kind of a thing, but not necessarily a Zord uh, because the, there's a part of the monster that could open up and you could see that she's kind of in there um, manipulating this Zord or this thing, whatever it was. Um, anyway, in order to destroy her, obviously um, the Rangers 
didn't have enough power. The Zords weren't powerful enough. They called all the Zords. And what ended up happening is uh, Zaito used that special Chroma Fury Saber and used that final attack uh, to basically destroy this monster. And then once the monster was uh, taken care of, Amelia did the same thing with the Santora. She touched her and then she realized that uh, she was actually her daughter. Um, Zaito is believed to be dead because... Of course, when somebody uses that saber, they uh, they get destroyed. So the the red and the blue Morphin Masters show up, and they take all of the Sporix away. Uh, they also had taken Lord Zed away um, in in a previous episode, which I sort of didn't mention. Uh, Zord, uh, Lord Zed, and um, the Green Morphin Master got trapped in sort of this like icicle thing, or I, I don't really know how to explain it, but they, they were trapped somehow. And um, the Blue Morphin Master was sent by the Red Morphin Master to capture the Green Morphin Master for interfering in all of these things. But then they realized that uh, due to her interfering, uh, a lot of lives were saved. And they said that, you know, the rule needed to be changed, that the Morphing Masters should be able to interfere more. Um, and they were able to get her out of that icicle that she trapped herself with, Zed, because Zed was actually going to destroy the Power Rangers in one of the episodes. So Zed was believed to be trapped. Anyway, the show ends with six months later, sort of, they show that the uh, Power Rangers are back to their normal duties, um... Or so to say, uh, Amelia and Ollie actually have a relationship. They they like each other, which was kind of obvious from day one. Izzy is a track or athletics superstar, and um, Ion has uh, like a like a food shop where he sells uh, food from Rafcon, and. Zaito believed to be dead, all of a sudden the rangers get a message uh, from uh, from the dinosaur helper, again I, I'm not 100% sure what the name was, uh, but she calls the rangers uh, to the base and Zaito shows up and she he shows up not in his red ranger suit but he shows up in this suit that that is sort of white on the bottom and kind of like grayish on the top. And instead of that uh, black symbol that all the Dino Fury Rangers had going down the middle, uh, it was red. And his helmet uh, stayed the same, I think. It was a red helmet. So I don't know if he's like a gray Power Ranger or a white Power Ranger now or, or what happened. But anyway, apparently he, he was given these powers and he told the Power Rangers that he came back because he needed them for a special mission. Which leads us to Power Rangers Cosmic Fury. That is going to be the 30th season, the next season, 2023 of Power Rangers. This may be the last season of Power Rangers as we know it because we do know that Hasbro wants to sort of restart the series. And what we know is that the cast will stay the same, so the Power Rangers will be the same. However, it is highly likely that they will have new suits, perhaps similar to what Zato has, uh, new Zords, probably, new weapons, and Lord Zed looks like is going to be the main villain of that series as well. Uh, Zato said that Lord Zed broke free, and... Um, he needed the other Power Rangers' help to uh, track him down and uh, finish him off once and for all. So that's what we know. Uh, we know next season is going to be called Power Rangers Cosmic Fury. We've been hinted that this will take place in space. So not necessarily on Earth. And uh, I'm looking forward to it. I think it will be... A very good season. I, I'm looking forward to, to see what the suits actually look like because what we've been told is that they might be all original suits, not necessarily something where we're using uh, footage that already exists. 
and so it, it will be interesting to see what Hasbro has planned for this season 30 of the current universe so to say of Power Rangers and then what is going to happen uh, beyond season 30. So that would be it for Power Rangers Dino Fury and season 29. Season 30 should be a good one, should be coming next year and um, it's going to be nice to have the, the cast stay the same. They're kind of doing something what Mighty Morphin did where they had the sort of same Power Rangers going on for you know, the first few seasons of the show, there were obviously three seasons of Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, but then, you know, Zeo, Turbo, and In Space basically kept the same Rangers. They just kind of like rotated a little bit in between the seasons. So this is what they're doing here is they're keeping the same cast, but we might get, you know, new Zords, new suits, and perhaps some other uh, new stuff in there as well. That would be it. For my review of Power Rangers Dino Fury Season 29 of Power Rangers.